ever since I've had my sourdough starter going again, we've been having English muffins often for breakfast. They are so delicious. Uh, breakfast is, breakfast, I can touch the fire. breakfast is ready. We're just waiting for some kids to come and fill up this table. Good morning, friends. We're kind of having the Monday blues over here. Okay, just kidding. Like, I don't mind Mondays, but I don't really feel like we have Monday blues. But we are kind of dragging this morning. I think part of it might just be that it takes me a little while to make those English muffins. So simple, like literally I add honey, salt, and baking soda to my sourdough starter, but it does have to cook on the stove top for a little while. So I don't know if that's what kind of pushed our morning a little bit, a little bit back this morning, but we're just finishing up breakfast and hope you guys are having a great day. For you guys that watch my sourdough video that went up earlier this week, I hope you enjoyed that, found that a little bit helpful. But I wanted to just kind of update you. So we're on day like, I don't know, 13 now or something. But look how many bubbles my starter has now. It takes a little bit of time, but it will get there. Wesley, I think your shirt is on backwards. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, very nice. So, and they're the right way, white, white. Let me see, are they all in the right order? Yeah. You did, Zara. Good job. But Charity did some. Charity helped you a little bit. Yeah. I love seeing you guys play together. Are you playing with all the blocks? Mm -hmm. I'm playing with these and yeah. him. Well, Zara's not a him, right? You want to play with these with her? With her. That's right. I play these and him. Good. We just finished. Well, I finished my reading portion of our second to last okay. lesson and the gather round North America unit. I can't believe we're already almost at the end of this unit, but Zara finished her couple pages. She did her journal. So now she's sitting and coloring a picture and these kids are just finishing up their work pages or just staring. Do you guys need help or what's going on? Do you need help or are you okay? I'm okay. You're all right? Mm -hmm. You're getting your answers in there about your lizard. Okay, and Elijah is labeling all of his countries. Wesley's gotten out a whole bunch of things to play with, <laughs> but he's not even playing with them. He's listening to a book. We like to look at the library for these kind of books, these wonder books, because Wesley just loves to sit and listen to the read aloud. I'm sorry, did I lose your page? Sorry. Our rink is ready outside, so the kids have been outside skating the last few days we're so excited about that there is a path of ice all the way to the rink and yes there is a rink there although all you can see is snow so we're gonna have to get out and do a bunch of shoveling in order to go skating today zara is just about done her coloring page zara you have done an amazing job you're so good at coloring that part left. is that your favorite thing to do color and that part yeah and that but you're so, so close to being done. Taking a break from our regular school and Charity has an audience here as she is on the computer playing some Night Zookeeper. Is this your favorite, Charity? Mm -hmm. She loves spending time on this. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Night Zookeeper, so I'm just gonna take the next minute here and just tell you a little bit more about this program. Night Zookeeper is an online subscription that can be used to cover a full language arts curriculum or it can be used to supplement your other curriculum and it is appropriate for kids 5 to 12 or even older can really get into it too. It is an award-winning writing program to help your child improve their writing skills. When you sign up for the program, you indicate your child's age. They get their own profile to do all their activities, but this keeps each of their lessons and goals age appropriate for them. Their weekly lessons will include interactive videos and games, which just makes learning fun. And we love that around here. Each week they will have a learning goal um, and they will have specific goals like adding a certain number of words to their writing project or using two adjectives or two verbs. And then their writing will be automatically assessed for if they reach those goals. And then a tutor will check their work and give your child tips for spelling or punctuation. And they'll be able to see those tips on their profile 
And if they go back and edit their work to improve it, they can earn rewards from that. I like Night Zoom. It's actually easy. It's racing, but there's like two things you can press on and it's like, what word is similar to this or what is the opposite of this? Right, and do you, do you remember what those are called? So if a word is similar, it's called a synonym. synonym. And, and if it's opposite, do you remember the word for it? What is antonym. it? Antonym. That's right. <laughs> Your child can add animals to their zoo by completing challenges and completing lessons. If you're if it doesn't seem like your child is at the right level, like if it seems too advanced or too easy for them, you can go into the parent dashboard and always adjust what level your child's lessons are at. I have a link I will provide down below in my description box. This will give you 50% off an annual subscription to Night Zookeeper. So when you sign up, you will first get a seven day free trial. So you can check that out before you're actually paying. Uh, and then you will get 50% off that annual subscription. So make sure you check that out down below in my description box. Just made it home with a whole bunch of groceries and we have so much fresh snow right now that look how much snow is trapped in just from all the trips it took to bring the kids in. So yeah, I'm wearing my warm fuzzy socks today and I'm definitely wearing slippers because otherwise I would have wet, wet feet. Finally, finally sitting down to enjoy my coffee. Finally got all the groceries put away. I mean, I have great helpers. My kids help unpack the groceries and stuff. But then I set it out and film a grocery haul, find spots for all the groceries to go. And now I'm sitting down, but Wesley's gonna be awake soon. And so I just have a few minutes to really to sit down and that's quiet time for today. I always find it just a little bit tricky. Like when do I try to fit a grocery pickup? I mean, it's only grocery pickup. I'm not even walking through the store and grocery shopping. But sometimes I've done my grocery pickup like first thing in the morning and then we get home and do school and today it was just after lunch but just trying to figure out when to pick up groceries and also lowering my expectations not expecting that I can add a whole grocery trip into our day and still complete every little bit of school that we would complete if we were just staying home all day. I am getting my hair cut next week. I got my hair cut short um it was in September. It it feels so recent, but it was also so long ago. So I got my hair cut short, like it was shoulder length. Um, and so it's been four months, so my hair has grown a good bit. So I'm gonna get it cut just as short again. But I'm trying to decide if I wanna color it or not. I haven't colored my hair. So I did highlights regularly for a few years, quite a few years. Um, but it was two over two years ago now that I last got it colored and so i'm finally at the point where like this is all my natural color and i kind of like that but i also am just kind of itching to do something get some sort of color in my hair also i am getting grays you guys I, you're probably not going to be able to see it like i don't know they're they're in there believe me i have quite a few grays quite a few grays in there but i think i want to do some sort of color so you'll see you'll see coming up pardon me charity you don't think I look old? Well, thank you. I don't really think I look old either. I just have quite a few grays. But if you have any input for me, what you think I should do, I kind of think I'm gonna do a balayage, but I don't know, we'll see, you'll see. These came with our grocery order today. They were a uh, freebie. And so I think this is probably the closest thing to like Pop-Tarts or toaster strudels that my kids. Actually look like Pop-Tarts. Have you ever had Pop-Tarts? I had one yesterday. Where? Oh, at your friend's house. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't think any of my kids have ever had toaster strudels or Pop-Tarts. Go put the orange peel in the compost and you can come back and have one of these, okay? So I told each of the kids, they just have to have a fruit. This is driving me bonkers. <laughs> my tap is all the way off and this doesn't always happen, but like periodically it will just drip and drip. So annoying. Part of it, mm, can you hear that? I can just hear it dripping in, in behind me as I talk. But part of it is that, uh, you know, we eventually have to update a lot of these areas in our house, like the kitchen we want to totally redo. So when like just a small thing goes, like if we need to buy a new faucet, it's just so annoying because we're not ready to like completely redo the kitchen yet. So I don't even want to redo anything. Actually, now that I see the washer and dryer there in the background, 
Same thing with this washer and dryer. Yes, we're a family of seven and we have like this apartment size washer and dryer, but that's because that is how big, like that is how big my laundry room is. There's no room for a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. Eventually when we you know, renovate more areas of this house, we have to, we have big plans for how we're gonna renovate this and then the bathroom in behind it and have, you know, a bigger laundry space. But the washer and dryer have given us trouble a couple of times recently and I'm like, you cannot die on us because the last thing I wanna do is buy another set like this. Like, I really don't wanna do that, but we have no other option for anything to fit in in that room. So here's what's for dinner. We've got pork chops that just finished cooking here. I've got some cauliflower that is finishing cooking as well. And then I have some rice. I just put butter, salt and pepper and Italian seasoning in my rice after it's done cooking. I'm gonna put this cheese on the cauliflower. <laughs> that Hello, cheese? that is cheese. You know that that's cheese. Yeah. It feels so strange. I'm ending this video by myself. A couple of the kids are out skating. Once again, kids over there, no one's coming to run in and say bye. So I guess you just got me. Bye.